Hi, this is Jonathan Smith, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Spring Data with MogulDB. It's pretty interesting and pretty easy to use once you get to know what you do. First thing I would like to point out is that I'm going to be using my website, JonathanMockSmith.com, to be doing this whole tutorial. So if you ever have to go back and kind of see the code or want to download the code, you just go to JonathanMockSmith.com and you could get the code. Now, let's start diving into the code. Let's first look at the Spring Java config. I like using this style of coding a lot better than using XML. I kind of find it's pretty easy. The key to this is actually setting up the Mogul repository enable. So you got to have this in there. And then, of course, you got to extend the config. This is where I set up the name of the database. This is where it gets an instance. And this is where it looks for the mapping base project. This is where I put all my objects that is going to map to objects in it. It's pretty easy so far. Now let's take a quick look at the person object that I use for my example. It looks like a, any regular Java PLJO object, but, but it has this at document and this at ID. The at document tells it to use this as the type of the document, and the at ID tells it this will be the ID for for this object in the database. And as you see on my tutorial, I say you'll see we used it. The at document and the at ID. Now let's make the repository. This is what actually does all the database functions. As you see, I auto wire to the template. And then as you see, I have a count under age. This will go through my database. If you look, I actually set up a list of person objects. I then create a query, then I create a criteria, then I add, look for age less than 21, and then I add that to the query. Then I actually tell my template, find that query and return person class, and here's my result. And then this will print out with log4j the number of results I got. Then I do the same thing with count all people. As you see, it, I get a list, and I just say find all pretty easy so far. Now let's take a quick look at the insert. The insert person with name. Basically what I do is I set up a random age as you see here and in the person object I set it up with my name and then a random age and then all what I say is insert. And this actually creates a collection in the database if one is not there and also at the end oh well, also at the beginning actually I like to delete the collection of object before I start so I know how many data is in there. Now let's take a look at the main class. Main class is pretty easy. There's a public static void main like usual. The log for j tells you what's uh, just that I'm starting the application. Then you see I use the config application content pointing to the configuration class we set up before. And from there I get uh, the, the repro beam of the people and then the first thing I do I say drop person collection so that will clean out everything in case I left some data there. This will create a new collection and then I insert 10,000 rows. After the insert of the 10,000 rows I then go through and I count all persons and then I want to do a count of people under 21. And now if you want to download the code you could go to my GitHub uh, spot and just do it right here. It's at Get at github.com, Jonathan Marksmith slash spring mobile dash demo. Again, this is pretty easy demo. It's pretty easy to use and it's quite powerful. If you have any questions, please feel free to find me on my website, which is again, I'll bring it up here again just to show you. It's jonathanmarksmith.com or you can find me on Twitter. Again, I'm Jonathan Mark Smith and, and on Twitter, I'm actually John M. Smith. So, so if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, and I'm looking forward to getting your feedback. Thank you.